Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a contact form on Click in Divi. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how. In this tutorial we'll be using some CSS so be sure to click the link in the show notes below to access this code on the blog post. So what we need to do here is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. So this page can be called anything. So I'll just call this test one. But you can give it any name you want. So next we're going to click on use the Divi Builder. And then we're going to go straight into the Visual Builder. So what we need to do here is we're going to come over here and uh, add our column structure. So we need one column. And in that we need a button module. So I'm going to click on button. For our button text, we're going to say explore more like that. We're going to come over here to the link. Now for the button link, I'm just going to add a blank link, but you can link this to whatever link that you need. Okay, so now that I have this in place, I'm just going to come over here to design and just align this to the center like that. So next we're going to give this button a CSS class of a button. So we're going to come over here to CSS ID and classes, and we're going to come over here to the class and add this button class. So next we're going to create a desktop contact form on click. So let's save this for now and let's add a new section. So I'm going to click this plus button here, click on regular. And for this we're going to choose a single row. So before we add anything here, let's add our CSS class. So we're going to come over here to this gear icon for our section settings. Click on advanced tab, click on CSS ID and classes. And I'm going to add this class called pop up. Okay, so we're going to go. Uh, so before we close, we're going to come over here to custom CSS. So here I'm going to paste my CSS code in this before tab, like that. And then here on the main element, we're going to paste this code. And then right here on the bottom on visibility, we need to make sure that it's disabled on the phone and on the tablet. So this will only show on the desktop. So let's save this for now. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do here is to add a two column row. So what we're going to do, because I can't see my rows here, I'm going to come over here to my wireframe view. So here's my row here, we need to add two columns. So I'm just going to click this button here and select two columns. And then and then I'm going to come over here to this gear icon to enter my row settings. So in here, we're going to go into design, click on sizing. So here, we're going to come over here to use custom width, and, and then we're going to activate that. And then over here, our custom width is going to be 1290. So next, we're going to come over here to spacing, and we're going to add some padding to column 1 and column 2. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add 30 pixels of padding to the top, right, and left. And then we're going to do that same on column 2 like that. And then we're going to finish this off by coming over here to the advanced tab, clicking on custom CSS. And in the main element, we're going to paste this CSS code. And then we're going to save. So next, we're going to add our text module. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button and add our text module. Like that. So in here, I want to add a bit of content to start with. And then we're going to come into the design tab, click on text. We're going to start with our text font, search for lobster, which is right here. Text orientation needs to be centered and this needs to be bold. Our text font size needs to be 37 and our line height is fine at 1.7. So here in the text color, I'm going to paste my hexadecimal color in here. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and save. I'm going to duplicate this and drag it over to the right. And then I'm going to go in and make my adjustments. So I'm going to click the gear icon again. And the text I need in here is, I mean, some of this text. Click on the design tab. Click on text. So here we are already centered, which is good. For our text fonts, we need to change it to default. We're going to change here the size, make it 13. So that's all we need to do for now. So let's go ahead and save. Okay, so next we need to add a social media photo. So we are going to do this to the first column. So I'm going to click this plus button here. 
and I'm gonna search for my social media follow, which is here. So what we need to do here is to click this plus button to add our social media networks. Click this drop down, select the network. So I'm gonna start off with Facebook. Click on the link here, I'll leave it as blank. And I mean the background, I'll leave it as that as well. So click this little icon here to go back. Then we need to add another one. And this network could be Instagram. So I'm gonna come over here and select Instagram like that. Again, the link will be left as a blank link, but this is where you'd link to your Instagram account. Okay, so I'm gonna again click this arrow here to go back to add another one. And my last one is going to be Twitter. So I'm gonna come over here to the network, select a network, and I'm gonna select Twitter. And again, our link says the same. And let's go back one more time. Now, what you can do here as well, is if you need to rearrange these, you can always come over here and just drag them into the order that you'd want. So let's come over here to the icon and the link shape. Let's choose circle. And then finally, we need to come over here to the advanced tab and add some CSS. So I'm gonna come here to the custom CSS. And in the main element, we're gonna paste this padding left of 40%. So when you're done with that, let's go ahead and save. And then we're gonna add another module here. And this time is the contact form module. So I'm just gonna search for it, select it. And it's time to make our adjustments here. Okay, so next we're gonna come over here to the design tab and then come over here to form field text. So here we need to make sure that this is set to 15. We're gonna do the form field text color. We're gonna paste our color in here. Our line height of 1.7 is fine. Now let's customize our button. So we're gonna scroll down until we get to button, click on button. And in order for us to customize this, we need to activate the uh, styles for the button. So I'm gonna click on yes. So 20 is fine. Our button text color needs to be white. So I'm gonna select white from here. Click on button background color. And I am going to paste my color in here. Next, our border width is set to two, that's fine. And our border radius is set to three, which is good. Now let's go on to the advanced tab, click on custom CSS and in the main element we need to add a padding top. So I'm just gonna type it in here, padding top of 5%, like that. Right, so we're done with this, let's go ahead and save. So next we need to add another uh, module, so I'm gonna click this plus button and this time we're gonna add the blurb. Now the reason why we need the blurb for this is just for the icon. So let's come over here to image and icon, click on use image and icon. So our exit icon here needs to be this one right here. So I'm gonna select it. So now we're gonna to go to the advanced tab and add some CSS. So I'm gonna come over here to custom CSS and paste this CSS code in the main element. Now, as I mentioned before, if you'd like to follow along step-by-step step on this tutorial, you can get all this code that I'm using in this tutorial in the post, which I'll link in the show notes below. Right, so now that I've added my CSS code in my main element, we're gonna come back here to CSS ID and classes. So we are going to add a class called close. Okay, so now that we're done with that, let's click on save. Let's go and add a background to this row. So I'm gonna click this gear icon here, click on background, and we are going to select this second tab, and we're gonna click this plus button to add our gradient. So our first color here is going to be white, and our second color is going to be this hexadecimal value, which I'm gonna paste in here. And then here, we're gonna choose 124 degrees, and then we're gonna change the start position to 50, and the end position to 50. And then we're gonna go ahead and save. Okay, so next we're going to create a tablet and contact form. So we're gonna add a new standard section, so I'm gonna click this plus button here, click on regular. So for now, I'm gonna add my CSS code, so I'm gonna come over here to this gear icon, click the advanced tab, custom CSS, and in the uh, before tab, I'm gonna paste my CSS code, like that. Next, we're gonna come over here to CSS ID and classes, and we're gonna give it a class of pop-up. 
And then come on, coming over here to the custom CSS, in the main element, we need to make sure that we have the CSS code display none. And then finally, for the visibility here, we're just going to uh, disable it for the desktop because we need it to display on the phone and the tablet. So next, we're going to go ahead and save, and then we're going to click this plus button here to add our single row. I'm going to close this for now, and then we're going to come into the row settings. So we're going to come over here to design, click on spacing. And here on column padding, we are going to add a 30 pixels to the top, the right, and the left. Now it's time to go to the CSS tab. So we're going to come over here to advanced, click on custom CSS, and we're going to paste this CSS code in the main element. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and save. And then we're going to uh, clone this text and social media follow. So I'm going to click this button here to clone it. And then I'm going to drag it down here to my row. I'm going to do the same with the social media follow. Drag it all the way down here. Come over here to the contact form. Do the same. Drag it to the bottom. And then we're going to do the same with the blurb. Drag it to the bottom. But in here, we need to go into the um, gear icon to access the settings because we need to change some CSS code. So here, we need to make sure that the class is set to close, and then we're going to come to Custom CSS, and we're going to replace this code with this new code. So let's go ahead and save, and let's apply a gradient as we did before. So I'm going to click this gear icon here to access my row settings. Click on Background. I'm going to click the second tab. Click the plus button, and the first color here is going to be white. And my second color here, I'm going to paste like that. We're going to make sure it's linear. And the start and end position both needs to be 40%. Right, so let's go ahead and save. And uh, save the page. So finally, what we need to do is to add our jQuery code. So to do that, we're going to come over here to Dashboard. And then we're going to come to Divi. Uh, theme options and then click on integration so the part that we're looking for here is the head a part of our blog so I'm gonna click here and paste our jQuery code so I'm just gonna stretch this so you can see that there's some code in there so there we go you can see that there's a code in, the code in there so now the moment of truth if everything works we are going to get a pop-up so I'm gonna click over here on this new tab I'm gonna make sure I refresh this page Right, so now that we, if we click this button here, we should get a pop-up. So I'm going to click it right here, and we can see that we are getting this pop-up. And then if we click this X right here, it closes. Right, so this is how this pop-up works. And again, if you use the uh, different um, mobile, mobile sizes, again, that will change according to your mobile device. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we produce new videos similar to what you've seen today. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.